Hey, welcome back to the channel guys a new week and a brand new demo and i'm really looking forward to this one because we are reviewing and playtesting the brand new wilson pro staff 97 version 14. so as you already know i play with the wilson pro staff 97 version 13 actually and i even played with a version 12. so again brand new version that came out in 2023 uh, this time with a new paint job the previous two or three versions were just all matte black which I think looks classic uh, simple clean and uh, definitely timeless but I'm not gonna lie I really enjoy the new colors uh, it's just it's just a refresh the design and uh, you know once in a while it's good to change so uh, definitely a good thumbs up for me when it comes to the design next up let's look at the specs but before we do so don't forget to support your boy by subscribing to the channel and liking this video also don't hesitate to ask me any questions in the comment section i'm always happy to answer any tennis related questions that you may have and uh, finally don't hesitate to uh, let me know if you are in the area so we can play together all right let's get to the specs now so I'm looking at the specs of both version 13 and 14 and um, you know and I'm looking and uh, really I'm seeing the exact same thing uh, you know specs wise uh, both rackets are virtually the same if you check out the uh, tennis warehouse website uh, you're not gonna find any differences besides the swing weight um, version 14 looks like it has a swing weight of 332 whereas the version 13 has a swing weight of 321. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily true. Um, you know, that's just based on the uh, racket sample that uh, Tennis Warehouse used to uh, come up with, uh, with the numbers. In my opinion, version 14 may have a little bit of a higher swing weight, um, but nothing that significant. So if it's not the swing weight and everything else is the same, then what is the difference? So Wilson said that they designed this racket with paradigm bending technology to optimize the bending profile between the shaft and the hoop um, to offer more precision and pinpoint control. They also arranged the double braid at 45 degree angles, which allows the frame to breathe more upon impact. So basically, Paradigm bending is just a new way of constructing the carbon fibers to optimize the the way the racket bends. So the racket becomes a little bit more flexible into the shaft, and that's supposed to give you a more classic pro staff feel and precision without compromising modern power. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I didn't notice that much of a difference between my racket and this one. Um, I think the swing weight might be a little bit bigger, maybe it's as a result of you know spreading the weight a little bit differently, maybe more toward the hoop. But besides that, you know it feels very much you know more or less the same. Um, it is a great racket. It definitely plays like a pro staff. Um, I'm not saying the racket is bad. It is a fantastic racket. Uh, you know, you can see on the playtest. I enjoyed playing with it. I'm uh, definitely getting a good feel for the ball. And if you've never played with a pro staff before, um, give this one a shot. It is a fantastic racket. Uh, like I say in all of my demo reviews. Um, do not buy a new racket before you demo it and preferably string it with your own strings and the right tension uh, just because a bit of racket demos is very personal and it's just hard to communicate sometimes with words what the racket really feels like on the court um, but my recommendation for this one is that if you have version 13 I would probably not buy version 14 unless you are really into the new paint job you really like it um, I know that version 12 was a little bit different um, version 13 was definitely an upgrade from that one so if you do have version 12 and you're looking to change but you still want the classic classic pro staff feel um, give uh, the version 14 a try 
So that's another short and sweet review for you guys. I'm just trying to keep it simple and 100% uh, real for you guys. Uh, but I enjoy making these reviews and you know as much as I want. Um, you know I would love to even just upgrade my own bracket to something even better but I don't think that's going to be the one. Uh, it's just too close to uh, to mine and uh, probably Wilson needs a little bit more time to uh, to really improve that uh, that racket. So, you know, I think racket technology kind of resembles uh, iPhone technology. Rackets usually come out every two or three years and uh, new iPhones come out every year. But there isn't really that much uh, of a difference between, you know, the iPhone um, 12 and the iPhone 13 and then the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14. But if you wait for maybe, you know, two or three generations, then you really feel like you're getting a nice upgrade. Um, and, I, and I kind of feel the same for rackets. Um, three years, you know, for a racket is not that long. Um, technology is just not improving that much. Uh, and so it also your body you know is very much used to your racket and string combination so even for your own sake it's not a great idea to you know, keep changing rackets uh, you know whenever I play with demos uh, different demos I mean it is it is a challenge you know to, to try to play well with different uh, different rackets different strings different tensions every time but uh, you know when you play with the same stuff for uh, over a really long time you know that's what your body likes that's what your body is used to and um, and it's just great to uh, you know understand that this is your stuff and now you're just gonna go out on the courts and try to play better as an athlete try to hit better shots you know be hit smarter shots move better and kind of take the uh, racket technology out of the equation and just really focus on you as the athlete and just make the most out of all the equipment that you already have and to be honest as long as you use a racket that is within the standard range you should be able to perform um, now I'm not saying it's gonna be optimal for your game it's not gonna be optimal it may not bring the absolute best out of your game but it's gonna be good enough for you to perform and uh, if you really cannot play with it um, you know and if with like uh, a good a good strings and tension and you still cannot play with it then it's probably because of either uh, poor mechanics poor techniques or uh, oh let's go Rob um, <laughs> Uh, what I'm saying is, you know, if you if you still can't play with it, uh, that's probably has something to do with uh, your technique or your footwork. Um, so, I play with a lot of rackets, you know, for all these demos. Sometimes I play with two different rackets during the same session. Uh, sometimes they are strong with different strings and different tension. Uh, so, you know, I'm still able to play. I'm still able to keep the ball in. Uh, of course, there is a bit of unpredictability. But um, at the end of the day, I'm still able to, you know, hit tennis balls. Uh, so if that's not the case for you, then you would probably have to revisit a little bit your technique and your footwork. Um, but um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, honest review and playtest of the Wilson Pro Staff 97. The next racket review is going to be the highly requested Solinko Whiteout and Blackout. So you don't want to miss that one. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you get notified as soon as I post it. That's it and I'll see you next week.